Welcome back to the 22nd episode of A Close Combat Wacht am Rhein playthrough with the allies in the gang campaign on elite difficulty. And, well, we are now fighting in Lusame. I'm not sure what kind of engagement this will be actually, uh, but we have an armor division finally in action against the enemy's uh, Kampfgruppe Kullmann. So, we'll see what happens though. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, we are attacking from this little corner and we need to fight our way through everywhere. Fair enough. Uh, let's see what the enemies got to play around with. Well, they do have uh, all sorts of various armored stuff. Uh, Panzer... Uh, oh, Jagdpanzers, I believe. Right, we got Jagdpanther and this is the Jagdpanzer. It's not called that, uh, but that's like the nickname for them, I believe. Um, either way, let's have for sure a panther group here, and uh, when it comes to infantry, let's give them a command team. Uh, a couple of regular panzer grenadiers, since I don't see any panzer pioneers, so. And, uh, just like that, that should be fine enough, and let's see, we could maybe give them another command panther. Oh no, let's give them a command panzer 4. And a couple other Panzer Force, and a couple of Jagd Panthers. And then, what can I, uh, what can I pick up? That's a lot of stuff in the list, at least. First platoon should certainly be infantry. Um, um armed infantry team, just like a rifle team, basically. And what else? Platoon leader. Recon, Engineer, Bazooka, Turrical, this. Alright, so that's the infantry we have to choose from. Um, well, yeah. What's the Recon team, Scott? Well, screw that. Um, three of these and a the Turrical, I guess, should be good enough. In fact, maybe screw the Turrical. And then, armored wise, now we don't have any of these. We do have uh, 76 mm Shermans, 105 mm Shermans, but that's uh, more for howitzer type gun. Although I believe these have a bit thicker front armor than the other Shermans have. Oh no, that's the M4A3E2 that would have uh, the thicker armor, so never mind, we do not have those. Um, Okay, what kind of gun are we talking on the Hellcat? 76mm L53, same as the Sherman, so we might as well just go with the Shermans then. Um, let's get a Command Sherman in. And five, uh, four regular. In fact, let's just make this very like, like this. It's nothing special, nothing fancy, but should get the job done, hopefully. Um, yeah, let's just see how it goes. Right, well, okay, how do I want to deploy this, sir? Um, yeah, well, I think maybe we can sneak these guys into that building, put a team or two in this building, just an ambush, until we actually are freed up enough to make some moves with the infantry. Get one of them sneaking over to the corner here. And just keep one squad also in ambush here. I don't really want to open fire too soon or anything. And then, let's see where we put our tanks. Now we should probably have several of them just aiming down this road. I would say we put them in position over here. Maybe three of them. And just cover straight down the road immediately. Uh, maybe a couple over here as well. Just in case something pops up that I can shoot. Maybe one over there. Uh, I'm not so sure about this terrain. Feels like they can easily get stuck there, so... I'll put more just down on the road here and in the general area around the road, I think. Let's maybe get a command tank over there. Oh no, let's put the command tank here, maybe. Um, well, if the enemy has artillery strikes available, actually, that could be really bad for us, sir. If we have all our tanks kind of bunched up like this, but... 
We've got to start somewhere, I guess. So let's just do it this way. Um, there we are. Let's begin. Okay, so off the bat, we're seeing it. Okay. Well, that didn't last long. Um, what the hell knocked that down? Okay, um... <laughs> yes, I don't really know exactly what to do here. It's kind of a tricky position to move in on, but uh, we'll see. We will see. They got a couple of tanks down there. Pick up your weapon. And I guess we'd better start moving our tanks in. Which could be very risky. Yeah, I don't know. Um, okay, there's a Panzer IV over there. Which we could shoot, so let's do that. Reloading, okay. Fuck. Well. That's how it goes. The AI is struggling over here. We just had a very... Very tough starting location, if I'm being honest, to kind of get out of. But, give us some time here, and hopefully we can make something happen. Take out this Panzer IV that seemingly has taken out a couple of our uh, Shermans already. And, okay, we took out the Jagdpanther over there for some reason. That's good. Uh, yeah, let's just get these tanks in position, I guess. Move further this way. Gotta keep in mind some of the infantry has uh, 60 meter range panzer fast as well. Which could be a little bit of an issue for us. Um, yeah, this is tough, but we might be able to make it work. Uh, these guys are really struggling. Can't move. Who can't move? These guys, damn it. Well, that's the risk of driving there, I guess. So, can we, uh, okay, we've done some damage to that Panzer IV. But we're also giving him really good shots at us, so. Do we get it? Fantastic. Okay, let's move the Shermans in further then. These guys also just kind of keep pushing up a bit there. And we can maybe move some uh, infantry over here. Get this building with them. Together with Platoon Leader. Okay, like driving past here. Oh, that's uh, Panther G over there. That's not so good. This thing's immobilized. Okay, we need to get shots off on that thing. It's been damaged slightly. Not sure we can win this turn. We've already taken a lot of like damage to armor, but we can at least gain some ground for the next time. And this showman is driving like this, so he's gonna die as well. You know, the, the Panther's probably gonna get him. When he's giving him side armor like that, it's uh, not good. That one bounced off. Now we can move some of the infantry in. Of course we lost that one. We just we really need to gain some ground here. Yeah, we're pushing out from a very unfavorable position to do so. So, yeah. Um... Yeah, we're gonna struggle to take this panther on frontally. And yeah, we're giving them pretty solid side shots on ourselves, so. So that is an issue. There we go, it's dead. Fantastic. Okay, let's maybe move this showman up that way since so he seems to be struggling with going over here. And get these showmans moved down as well. We have, what, five fully operational showmans still remaining now? And we, what the fuck happened there? Just a vehicle crew taking damage, that's not so bad. Okay, we're gonna move these teams over to the next building here. And then I would like them to stop shooting at stuff that gives away the position. Right, okay, so just get out of that building and stop shooting, then you're fine. What, blocked? Path is blocked? Is that what I said? Because I can assure you it's not. What the hell? 
Anyway, let's move uh, a couple of infantry groups together down here. Take this victory location, fan through, sneak around, get over here. Just try to get some uh, victory locations across the map. Um, winning this time, not likely. In the future, for sure, we can do it. Uh, uh, these guys decided to... Uh, I did give them a shit commander, but still, it's... They got themselves killed with all stupidity, so I, I, I won't take all the blame for that. I prefer to put most of it onto the AI. I mean, they're just not doing things that they should be doing. I mean, I'm seeing the, the showman, sir. It's ridiculous how to just this stuff. Uh, we're doing good damage as Panzer 4 over here, at least, so. We have taken out three tanks, damaged one. Future battles on this map will be easier as we'll have control over more uh, stuff to begin with. We can deploy in more favorable positions. Not sure why that uh, trench is there, actually. Uh, I think maybe that's me that dug those in the, in the past sometime. Let's just get these guys on. I mean, I guess these guys can be on defend actually. It doesn't really look like there's any armor that can engage them. Now this guy, break up there. The other guys go down here and actually make the move. Come on. Is this Panzer IV taken care of? I'm not sure. Now it is. That's good. Okay, so get moving. I know the path is blocked, but it just it won't be forever. Okay, good. We can maybe move this through here now and go up here. And we just kind of... Oh, for fuck's sake. Another guy mobilized himself. This guy. That's fantastic. I'm just going to try to gain as much ground as we can. We have a decent enough uh, showman reserve to be able to uh, take some losses and gain some ground in doing so. I'll take this armored infantry out here over there. Take this strong point vector location. Good, this thing is now... You really just gotta go out of your way to avoid going near trees, otherwise they're just gonna run into them and get them mobilized, and that obviously isn't what you want, so... Yeah. Seemingly they got a lot of the tanks in this general area. Seemingly. They might have it elsewhere as well. But yeah, we just go through here, then into this. With these teams. And we can maybe take victory locations over here as well. Uh, what's the shooting going on? I can't quite locate it. Like, doesn't even sound like it's on the map in my headset. Anyway, is this guy moving? Or? Oh my god, it just go up here then. Just please, go somewhere. Yeah, we got something over there. Okay then. So I think we can just run them over here. They don't need a sneak on the lower side though. Uh, okay, what I'm going to do is just kind of gun these showmans out here. Wait, what's happening there? Okay, yeah, let's just gun these showmans out there. Get them on the field and pass here fast enough that they don't get destroyed on the way. If they could just drive more intelligently, that would certainly help. We have this victory location, but... I don't know, why are they not taking fire anymore now, though? Like, okay, yeah, just drive out there with your ass towards the panther instead. Much better fucking uh, way to do it. Good job. Good job, you guys. Absolute idiots. The AI is so trash, it's unbelievable and pissing me off more often than not. Not gonna lie. They could just drive really faster, but what they're doing instead is just like, Hey Panther, you see me? Let me just wiggle a little bit back and, f uh, back and forth in front of you. Just to make sure that you see me. I mean, wh wh what even is this shit? So like, this tank is lost due to stupid AI shit. This tank, that's okay. This, sure. But like, and, and this thing's immobilized, probably gonna get lost due to stupid shit. And pretty much these two, so I, I don't know, I feel like a lot of stupid shit happens in these games when you play around with armor. In fact, I prefer playing this game with like, maybe each team has a couple of tanks, so the tanks feel special and worthwhile. 
too many tanks and it just really tanks the fun out of the game, if you ask me. But this is what gives the enemy a higher point team, so it's what I'll be doing, I guess. Alright, so now sneak up, take this victory location. Just turn this guy around, I guess. And could we, despite you guys taking some casualties, actually just push in here and uh, keep moving? Where the hell did I get shot at, uh, get shot at from? Because he kind of stopped. So, where the hell were these shots coming out of? Oh, that is beautiful. That is so good. Nice. Okay, let's just get these fuckers on the fan then, because they're incapable idiots. Ah, we lost so many Shermans, it's not even funny to think about. It's... It's ridiculous. Okay, we've taken a strong point at least, so we've gained some ground, but we can still gain more. Not sure what's fired at these guys first time around, because now they're, they're fine. Nothing's shooting at them now. Okay, yes, come on. Drive in and get shot and die. There's a panther in the forest. Okay. Uh, almost two tick. Truce. Yeah, let's just take a truce before we take more casualties. Now we can at least deploy better next time. Uh, I don't even want to look at the details. Six tanks destroyed, four damaged. Nice, that's all our tanks fucked up in some way. We did destroy four enemy tanks and damage four though, so it might be good. I don't know. If we look at our soldiers so let's see. Yeah, there was a lot of damage on our tanks and casualties. What about the opponent? Uh, they lost one panther. A couple of panzer force and a jagd panther. I don't know. Uh, at least next time we're not going to have that fucking traffic bottleneck that we need to deal with there. Uh, that really made things hard for us. Uh, maybe we should have had more bazooka teams and less uh, tank teams, but... Oh well. Either way, we've made the progress that we needed to make, hopefully, and can now capitalize on that next time around. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, I would appreciate if you left a like on it. And, well, thank you for watching, and as always, you can catch me in the next one. Have a good one.